Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9Z, and we're back with WWE Champions and another 5 star gold character gameplay preview video. And today, we got Shawn Michaels, the zombie, the heartless kid. And uh, I'm super excited. Uh, you know Shawn Michaels is my all-time favorite. Sorry we beat you up back there, Shawn. Anyways, um, I... It's Sean at the very top for me, I think, overall, full career. Sometimes I say Hogan, sometimes I say Sean. It depends on uh, how I'm feeling that day. But we're going to check out this all-new Heartless Kid here. He is a coach. Increased kickout damage and moves and gems. Trap countdown and juggernaut that generate black gems will create up to three more at 26k. So, um, along the same lines of what we've been using, the... Uh, the zombie attack is the four star move. The heart stopper smash is the five star move. I'm rocking a three star move set here. It's pretty fantastic. So we got screaming chin music, 10 charge, finisher, deal, 149,000 damage, make 13 trap gems into blue gems to pin the opponent. How do we get the trap gems? Well, we got two blue moves, six charge each. We got bloody tears, deal, 77,000 damage. Choose a three by six area to make into trap gems. If broken by you, Deal 66,000 damage and randomly respawn one trap gem. If broken by your opponent, deal 103,000 bleed damage for two turns. So, that's a lot to take in on that move there. Basically, we're going to make 18 trap gems. And if we break them, they're going to deal 66k damage apiece. And it's going to respawn another trap gem. Remember Zombie Rollins, how his one countdown gem would spawn like more? It's kind of like that. It's like every time you break one of these, it makes another one. And then if you put the move down again, now you got more than 18 trap gems. And every time the opponent breaks one of them, it will uh, deal them a bunch of bleed damage. So we also got the nail in the coffin, deal 71,000 damage, choose six gems to make into green gems. That's how we load the finisher. So this recycles its huge damage, bleed damage, all of the above. We got Lawler for the blue move points. We got Chad Gable here for green finishers do 125% more damage. So that's going to really buff that finisher damage up. I got Zombie Dominic on here to get me an extra blue gem. So I'll make 14 traps into blue. You could also, um, if you don't got Gable there, you could easily use uh, make more blue. And we're going to try it both ways. So we're going to see how much damage we put down here. We're going to run this back without Gable and see what happens if we turn more blue gems into trap gems. And then we got Santa Hogan, obviously, for the uh, any gem damage. I got the two words for you plate. We got double armor on here, and we got 106% green move damage buff. We're going to go out here against Mark Henry, and we're going to see how much damage we can put down with this. And then, like I said, we'll run it back. And we'll put on, like, NXT Rollins to make more blue gems and see if we can do more damage that way. Um, you know, I, I, it depends on the Cascade here. Because it makes extra trap gems, if you can get it to make a Cascade after the trap gems have replicated themselves, and you'll see what I'm saying in a minute here, um, you can really put down some nasty damage. I put down 2.7 million when I practiced this before I recorded but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get the Cascade to hit like that again. So uh, the placement of this, semi-important. You want to match as many blue gems to the outside of this as possible. See, I got three there. And I got blue gems in here too. So I'm going to do that. This is going to get me to break more trap gems. And I got some X breaks on the board here. So let's see what we can get right here. Oof. See, we only missed one trap gem, so we didn't really need NXT Seth, but if the board doesn't have as many... See how it keeps making more trap gems there? If you can get the Cascade to keep hitting more like that, the damage keeps going out. 2.8 million damage, plus the bleed damage going. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow, 2.8 million I don't think we're beating that. I don't think we're beating that with NXT Rollins on there instead, but, uh, wow, we'll see. Okay, I switched it up. I'm back out here. I'm set up to hit again. I switched, uh, I put NXT Rollins in instead of Gable, so, uh, we'll see. We'll make more trap gems this way. 
Um, and I put King Seamus on for 2,200 blue gem damage. So we got 4,400 extra damage to blue gems with Hogan and him combined. We're going to make 17 of these trap into blue, which means only one of them's not going to change. But we got five blue gems surrounding here for the Cascade. So let's see what we can do here. Remember, we just hit a 2.8 million Cascade. I don't think this will be quite as impressive as that. But, uh, you never know. You never know with a little luck afterwards here. Nope. And 2.1 million. So still 2 million damage, even without Gable on there. But, uh, I would run it the other way. That's crazy damage there. Crazy damage. So let's get out here and check out another moveset. Okay, we got a yellow super sub set here. I mean, it's, it's a little more than that, but... You know I love buffing my subs out. Anyways, we got the zombie attack, seven charge, yellow color submission. Choose seven gems to make into green sub gems. Do 120,000 damage for three turns. Uh, remaining sub gems turn into multiply of strength nine. Then we got the love bite, also yellow, six charge, deal 77,000 damage and make 22 random gems into three turn countdown gems that will deal 52,000 damage and make two random gems into yellow at the end of the countdown. So that's going to make potentially 44 yellow gems. And then we got the heart stopper smash, the, the five star move, seven charge green, deal 97,000 damage, decrease your countdown gem timers by three so you can instantly make the love bite hit. So we're going Kofi for yellow MP. We're going Zombie AJ for the yellow subs lasting three more turns. Um, we got uh, Tech Drew coaching for yellow subs. Do 50% more damage per turn and last an extra turn. So now he's doing 180,000 for seven turns. And then we got old trusty Santa Hogan for some extra gem damage on there. Left the strap the same. Uh, submission set. Yeah, I mean, I could have buffed out a different move damage a little bit, but... Not worried about changing that over uh, some 70,000 damage or whatever. So first we want to choose the uh, green sub gems here. And we only really need enough to charge the green move. So we could do that. And that and just keep the rest of the green alone there. I picked the ones that were already green, so I didn't give any extra green gems on the board. The more green gems on the board, the more chance they have to break the green gems. Well, like that, I guess. Unbelievable. All right, we got three times nines on there now. So the second time through, could really do some damage there. Or these will turn, and there'll be yellow gem damage on them, so... All right, here we go. Decrease it by three. Let's see what we got. Oh, nice little cascade there. Nice, nice. And 1.9 million damage. So, a uh, huge damage outburst plus a, a quick 7 charge sub. That's a nasty, nasty moveset as well. Unbelievable, man. He's incredible. He's incredible. We'll go back and uh, I'll show you the other move that we didn't use. So basically, this second move set here. Oh, great. Well, we got to reload the portal. I'll be right back. Okay, so the other move we haven't used yet is the stake driver. So this would be a four star move set. And the stake driver is eight charge, deal 108,000 damage plus 73,000 bonus damage for every countdown gem. So we can stack that. The color sub would fill the stake driver. We'd have the countdown gems. We could do the huge bonus damage, but we'd have no way to trigger the countdown gems and we'll get stuck. Um. We'll need some gem breaks to help us out here. So I guess what we could do here, instead of using the two words for you plate, is we could use... Mm -mm 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 -mm. So... Is there a green and yellow the other way? No, I don't think so. So if we break yellow, we get green. That's not what we want. We want break green and get yellow. Because when we break the green with this, if we could get yellow back somehow, we'd be good to go. So we could use shock the system. Let's just try that. Let's try shock the system. I mean, you could use anything else to gain yellow back. You could put general's orders on there and just hope you get a red match or something. But we're going to try this. So... 
What we did was we put Rhea Ripley, Zombie Rhea, for Countdown Gems do 35% more damage instead of Santa Hogan. That's huge bonus damage. We're going to do over 2 million bonus damage for that. Uh, the problem will be, can we recycle it? Can we push the pin meter? You know, whatever. But this is um, three distinct different ways to put down like 2 million damage with Sean here. That's, that's crazy. So depending on... Uh, different perks line bonuses things that you have going on so we could just i mean i could just do that to recycle yellow for the sub let's do that for the sake of this video so the match doesn't take too long oh i guess i was supposed to leave the other gems down that was kind of dumb can i get a redo on that Can I get a redo? Can I get a redo? Anyways, let's put down the uh, the countdown gems here. This is what I wanted to see. What's the damage from this going to be? So look, he's at 4.4 million health. And this is going to do 205,000 plus 98,000 bonus damage for every countdown gem. Remember, 4.4 million health. Boom! Ooh! 2.4 million damage on that. But we got no way to trigger the countdowns here. Now, if we could cascade yellow here, great. Uh, doesn't look like we will. We'll see what happens by the end of this. Now, what, how will the shock the system plate work with the sub? I don't even know that. Is it going to shoot yellow gems when he kicks out of this sub, or what's going to happen? No, it just nullifies the, the thing. Okay. So we can do the bonus damage here for those countdowns again, because we hit the sub. And that'll danger him. And then you just got to find a way to push this pin meter. We'll take that yellow match. Oh, uh, we're just swiping out. We got these count. We want the countdown gems to do it in style here. Countdown gems do it in style. What did you think of Zombie Shawn Michaels? I think he's fantastic, and I sure hope I get him on my roster. Um, I'm gonna be out here doing some polls. So, <laughs> yeah, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Just click subscribe, click the like button. That stuff helps me out tremendously, y'all. I don't know why you wouldn't do it. Um. If you're watching the video this far and you hear me say this, take two seconds, click like, click subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, peace.